students happy morning to all if you want to move your past life or a future life whether it is possible for us dears no it is not possible but in this lesson the narrator went to his future life come on let's see the lesson now we going to see chapter 7 into the future the name of the lesson is into the future today's chapter is an extract from the novel the time mission written by the famous novelist at h g wells who is known as the father of science fiction children who is the father of science fiction h g wells is the father of science fiction he was born on september 21 1866 and died on august 13 1946 he is an english writer the time machine is a science fiction novel this book has played an important role in the popularization of concept of time travel by using a vehicle or a device to travel purposely and selectively forward and backward through time to know how the narrator travels through time let's learn chapter 7 into the future come on children let's start our reading my dears see the first line my friends gathered around the mission in my workshop it was exactly like the model i had shown them only 20 times larger you mean you sit in the chair pull that lever and travel into the future asked my friend the writer or into the past i said whichever i choose and which would you choose asked my friend the psychologist listen children let's see the explanation the narrator is showing his time machine to his friends this mission is 20 times larger than the model he had shown them earlier children what did he shown to his friend the time machine his friend who is a writer asked him that how does it work when the narrator friend asked how does the machine work the narrator informed him it goes to future and to the past so his friend who is psychologist asking him whether he would like to go to the future or to the past my dear students see the first line the future first i said it is the unknown that interests me the most but when do we get to see it in action can we take a ride in its ourselves they asked not yet i said i still have a few things to tinker with then it will be ready to go seeing my friend smile i said you may not believe me but come to dinner here a week from now and i promise to show you then that my time machine works after my friends left i called in my housekeeper and asked her to cook the best dinner she could make for my friends next week i also handed her a note to give them when they arrived the note said that i was sorry not to greet them but i promised i would join them before the evening ended listen children that narrator replied that he would like to go to future first because it interested him the most his friends wanted to try the time machine but he said that he has to do few things into in tinker with tinker means he has to fix few things still he has to works on its time machine and he promised them that next week when they will come for dinner to his place he will shown them time machine in action then the narrator call his maid and instruct her to cook the best dinner on the same day next week for his friends and gives her note to them when they come for dinner children what instruction did the narrator give his maid he instructed to his maid to cook the best dinner and gives her note to them Let's read the sixth paragraph. One lever was enough to start the machine traveling through time. Push the lever up and it went into the past. Pull it down and it went into the future. The other lever was to stop it wherever I wanted. 
or rather whenever i wanted because i would be staying in the same spot and only the time would change i had finished my work before 4 in the morning now only one thing was left to do to give the time machine its first test i sat down in the seat of the time machine and looked at my watch 19 minutes passed over i held my breath and pulled the lever down a tiny bit it felt as if i was falling through endless space my stomach trying to squeeze into my throat my mouth gasping for air quickly i pulled the stop lever listen my dears so that narrator's time machine had levers push the lever up and the machine goes to past pull it down and it goes to future and there was also lever to stop the machine the writer would be sitting at the same place in his seat and only the time around him would changed the narrator tried his machine he sat in his seat and pulled the lever down he was very excited to try it but once he pulled the lever down he started feeling pressure in his stomach he was very anxious and he got breathless so he stopped the machine children see the ninth paragraph i looked around me and my heart sank my coat still hung over a chair my tools were where i had laid them my workshop was just as i had left it my machine was a failure then i saw daylight coming through the windows and my heart started beating faster the clock on the wall said half past 9 my watch read 21 minutes after 4 I had traveled more than 5 hours in just 2 minutes the time machine worked listen my dears after he trying his machine once the narrator looked around him he found all the things at their places so he felt that his machine had not worked and it was a failure the narrator noticed the daylight coming to the window and it made him feel very excited he checked the clock on the wall and his watch and saw the difference between the time and realized that he had traveled for more than 5 hours in just 2 minutes so he understood that his time machine worked see the first paragraph my dears i suppose i should have stopped then and plan my next move but i could not wait any longer to journey through time i pulled the lever down again a little harder than before time outside the time machine st- speeded up i saw my housekeeper whiz into the room and clean it in record time it was clear that she could not see me i pulled the lever further down and saw the window grow dark then it brightened then it darkened again days went by like blinking lights i pulled the lever down even more and everything around become a blur the walls and window of my workshop vanished the machine was waving now i wanted to pull the lever all the way down i did around me was a world of wonders with huge buildings rising tall taller and taller skies changing from dark gray to bright blue and a countryside that grow greener and greener listen children did he get success in his first try yes he got success in his first try okay the narrator's first try was successful and he got very excited so he could not control himself as he wanted to travel through time he pulled the lever down this time a little hot down and the machine speeded it up he could see his maid coming into the room cleaning it and going all this happened very fast here brightening and darkening of the window signify the coming and passing of this day and nights which was happening first the narrator pulled the lever down and everything around him became blur blur means unclear because of the speed of the machine and the walls and the windows of his workshop vanished vanished means disappear machine started swinging and he pulled the lever still down so he entered into a world of wonders out of his workshop then he saw a huge building rising taller and taller and the sky changing into bright blue color and the countryside that grew greener and greener my dear see the fourth paragraph 
I looked at the dials of the time machine which told me how fast and far I was travelling. I was shocked. I had gone much faster and further than I thought. I was in the year 8 lakhs 2,701 AD. Those huge numbers made me lose my head and panic. I pulled hard on the stop lever and paid the price for it. The stop was too sharp and the machine tipped over. I was thrown my from my seat. Listen children, the narrator had travelled too far into the future. When he realised it, he got panic. He was in the year 8 lakhs 2,701 AD. Children, AD means after the Jesus Christ. Now those huge numbers made him lost his mind, lost his head and he got panic. Panic means a sudden strong feeling of fear. So to stop the machine he pulled hard at the lever and machine had stopped sharply and tipped over and throwing the narrator from his seat. See the last paragraph. Stunned I lay on soft green grass, I heard a very loud thunderclap and a shower of hailstones stung my face. It was impossible to see. A fine welcome I muted. A man travels over 8 lakhs years for a visit and this is the greeting he gets. Then the hail thinned and the sun shone through a break in the clouds and I got my first good look at the world of the future. An extract from the time mission by H.G. Wells. Listen my dears, the narrator had a loud thunderclaps. Thunderclaps means see a sound of thunder. And he felt shower of hailstones. Hailstones means balls of ice. And balls of ice on his face, he makes the remark a fine welcome which suggests that he didn't like the way he was welcomed. It was not a pleasure welcome. Once the hail thinned and the sun started yes, shining, the writers of the world of future for the first time. Finally, he got his first good look at the world of the future. Are you understand children? Thank you my dears.